Good morning, class. How are you today? That's good. Okay, so may I request everybody to please stand up as we start our day with a prayer. May I request Miss Lungay to lead us in a prayer. Amen. Thank you so much, Miss Lungay. Okay, before you take your seat, see to it that the chairs are arranged properly. And please pick up some pieces of papers under your chairs. Are you done? Okay, let us check your attendance. Say present if your name is called. Okay, Aburo. Lungay. Pame. Uya. Okay, you have a perfect attendance for today. Keep it up, class. Okay, let us take a review of our lesson last meeting. Who can do a recap about the discussion yesterday? Okay, Miss Lungay. Okay, very good. Our topic last meeting is all about meat cooking methods. So what are the two types of cooking method of meat? And give examples. Okay, Miss Lungay. Okay, very good. Thank you so much, Miss Lungay. So at this moment, I will show you a short video. After watching the video, give your insights about the video. Okay, what can you say about the video, Miss Pame? Okay, very good. How about Miss Uya? Okay, very good, Miss Uya. Thank you so much. So now we will have our, an activity for today. So compare the pictures. So how they differ from each other? Okay, Miss Aburo. Okay, very good, Miss Aburot. Okay, as we can see, the first picture is attractive, colorful, you know, and the other picture is a plain dish which is not presentable. Okay, how important is the appearance of food presentation? Okay, Miss Lungay. Okay, very good. It is very important because the appearance will drive our appetite to crave the food. Okay, why do we need to add a garnish in a food plating? Why? Okay, Miss Uya. Okay. Okay, very good because it is the garnish adds attraction on the food. Okay, how the garnish helps the customer's appetite? How, Miss Uyan? Okay, the garnish will attract customers' appetite to eat the food. Okay, last question we have. Why is it important to have the right garnish in a particular dish? Okay, Miss Pame. Okay, very good. It is very important because it will complement each other. Okay, very good. Okay, any idea of what is our topic for today? Okay, very good, Miss Pami. It is all about a garnish. Okay? Okay, before we proceed to our lesson for today, let us read first our objectives. At the end of the lesson, 85% of the class will be able to identify the different types of garnishes. Second, value the importance of garnishing. And third, perform basic garnish design in a specific recipe presented. Okay, our topic for today is all about the different types of garnishes. But before that, we will define first what is garnish. Any idea about the word garnish? Okay, Miss Pame. Okay, very good. Garnish is something that 
decorate or furnish a food plating. Okay, the word garnish comes from the French word garnier, which means to decorate or furnish. In the culinary world, it means to use food as an attractive decoration. It is something that should add real value to the dish by increasing the nutritional value and visual appeal. So that is the definition of garnish. So what are the importance of garnishing? The first importance of garnishing is visual appeal. As you can see the picture, it is visually attractive because of the garnish. Okay, remember that it is your eyes who experience first the nutrients. So, the garnish will add a pop of color as well as excitement. Okay, the next importance of garnishing is enhancement of flavor. Just like for example, when we put a lemon as a garnish in a seafood platter, it is not just to add a decoration or color of the plate but the lemon juice serve as the enhancement of flavor okay another example is a sea seed diba? You know, when we put a calamansi or lemon when we squeeze it in a sea seed platter it will enhance the flavor of the food Okay, the next importance of garnishing is filling the plate. After the dish has been plated, the plate looks empty as well as unattractive. Okay, this is the time that the garnish serve as a plate filler. Okay, another importance of garnishing is the identification of a dish just like for example when we have a carrot soup okay as we can see at the picture the garnish is a carrot curl okay that is how the dish being identified by its garnish so these are the types of garnishes first type is the herbs as well as leaves many greenish leaves as well as herbs are used for garnishing purposes the most common leaves as well as herbs that are used include thyme oregano basil chives chervil coriander bay leaves and etc these leaves don't exactly add together additional color but also a tempting smell as well as feature flavor to numerous dishes the second type of garnishes are the roots as well as the greens most of the time greens are used as the side salads on platters to fill up the empty space okay just like for example the endive butter crease as well as the lettuce are mutual greens that are used to garnish in a dishes you know, to fill up some empty spaces so that are the roots as well as the green third type of garnishes are the edible flowers many flowers that are edible can be used as garnish on a dish just like for examples the jasmine flowers the pansies flowers and other many flowers that can be used as a garnish to a food okay the fourth type of garnishes are the fruits as well as the vegetables there are a lot of fruits and vegetables that are used for garnishing purposes Okay, so they are used as slices, widgets, or even used for their zest. Okay, the fifth type of garnishes are the purees. Purees often times used as garnishing purposes. The fruits and vegetables are being blended by a blender. Purees are spread artfully on the platter or poured over to the nutrient item they add vibrant color 
texture as well as flavor to your dish. The last type of garnishes are the sauces as well as syrups. Sauces oftentimes used alongside the steaks. Okay, just like for example the barbecue sauce, teri teriyaki sauce, tartar sauce, and other types of sauce. There are a lot of sauces. Okay, syrups also can be used in garnishing purposes, most especially on the dessert. Okay, do you have any questions regarding our discussion for today? Are you sure? Okay, it seems that you all really understand our lesson for today. So at this moment, I will divide the class into three groups. Okay, this is a group activity. Okay, I called it Garnish Me Activity. Okay, so the first row will be the first group. Second row will be the second group. And the third row will be the third group. I have prepared three dishes for today in order to apply what you have learned with our lesson. For today, each group shall select a type of garnish to prepare using the available ingredients in the table, as you can see in the table, okay? Make a garnish that will enable the food more appetizing and attractive. I will give you 5 minutes to furnish the food plating. After making the garnish, present your output to the class and say something about your output. Is it okay, class? Did you understand? Okay, so let us begin. Group 1, Group 2, and Group 3. Okay, time is up. Please present your output and say something about it. So let's start with the Group 1, okay? Okay, very good. Very good group one. How about the group two? Okay, very good group two. Now let's go on to group three. Okay, very good group three. You have done great in our activity for today. It shows that you have learned something in our discussion for today. So now, please get one half cruise-wise of a paper and answer the following questions. Okay, test A will be the identification. Write your answer in the space provided. So, write the answer only in your paper. So, that is 1 to 5. Test B is the enumeration. Numbers 1 to 6 is the types of garnish. Enumerate the types of garnish. And 7 to 10 is the importance of garnishing. Okay, are you done? Well, please pass your papers to the front and I will be the one to check your papers. So I will bring back your papers next meeting. Okay? Okay. For your assignment, make a vegetable or fruit uh, garnish at home. Make a documentation of the garnish you will make. It is either a video or picture documentation. Your assignment will be presented next meeting. Is that clear, class? Okay. Thank you so much, class. That's all for today. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Say, see you next meeting. Bye-bye.